Hi all, welcome to Night Rips. And as you can tell from my mat here, I am actually working on a Willie Stargell puzzle, which tells us that we are going to once again rip into some of the junk wax, this being Donruss. Since Donruss gave puzzles, Fleer gave stickers, Tops gave gum. So this is the 1991, and it is the Willie Stargell puzzle that we're working on. But we're gonna go ahead and rip six more packs, not only to work on that puzzle, and also see if we can find some of those other kind of cool stuff. You know, there was, there was definitely some interesting things to the hobby that actually came out of this series. This is actually where inserts really started from. So before we go ahead and go into that history and go into these packs and see what we can find, let me once again invite you to join the channel by hitting that subscribe button right there below and the notify bell. Okay, doke, let's zoom in. Let's go ahead and start ripping the first pack of six. Series two, 91 Donruss. All right, so we had a little bit more of a pack problem with this one. Obviously they do stick a little bit to the, to the puzzle, but I probably, once I get as much as I can get built, I'm hoping I can build the whole thing. But once I get that done, actually this is a repeat, I will take a hairdryer to fix it. So that's a repeat piece because that was actually this corner piece down here. But let's take a look what we have. So when it comes to this set, there are cards, some cool cards, you know, award winner, rookie of the year, Dave Justice, part of the base set. But I did mention that there's some things MVP, Fred McGriff, there's some things that were with this set that actually influenced everything that we do in the hobby now. This is actually back in the day, Mike Benjamin rated rookie, and an all-star Len Dykstra. A lot of duplicates in this pack. But there was some stuff that actually happened in this set that influences exactly what we chase today. What I'm talking about are machine numbered uh, cards and inserts. And once I open up pack two, I'll go further into that. Well, unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna start duplicating all the puzzle pieces. And that's a problem because there's 63 pieces in total. And this is another one of those repeats. But going back into the inserts and machine numbered, uh, you know, there was, well, that's what the puzzle should look like. There was some, uh, there's a set, there, actually there's two sets. There is the Legend set, and there's only one card in that, and that would be Nolan Ryan. And then there is the Elite set. And that's an eight card set. All of those were numbered, plus there's a Ryan Sandberg auto. Everything there was numbered. Jack Armstrong, All-Star. A lot of, lot of duplicates. But they were all actually numbered machine-wise. You know, before, if you look at like the upper deck, they, they did the, the Ryan, Aaron, Reggie, Ted Williams, Joe Morgan, um, Johnny Bench, pack three. They all had autos. And those, you know, those were the first ones where that you could actually find autos within the packs. Uh, but they were all hand numbered. What they actually did with this set, the, the elite set, the you know all the all the different sets, those are all machine stamp numbered. This was the first case where they actually machine stamped. Oh, this is cool. This is one of the 1990 um, World Series cards. Still a base card, but it's one of the high numbers. And this would be you know along with the other award winners. But yeah, they would they would actually machine stamp. The Elite Series was stamped to 10,000, set of eight. The Legend, which was the Nolan Ryan, was stamped to 7,500. And then the Sandberg was stamped to 5,000. So it was the first case of using, you know, machine stamping instead of just hand numbering. The other thing that this set was real big for was 
there was an insert set and I haven't pulled any of them. I was wanting to wait till I found a card to start really talking about it. But there is, and when, when we find it, I'll pull them out. There is an insert set. Oh, there's a nice MVP. Ken Griffey Jr. There is a set of cards that are the highlights cards. And if you look, Sandy Alomar, award winner, his rookie of the year. It's interesting, that's uh, Roberto Alomar's brother. But if you look, there is actually, huh, this is weird to see Frank Thomas not in a black and white. There is a set, good Lord, I'm going to find everything, everything's going to stop me today from talking about this bonus set. It's so Willie Randolph's 1990 World Series. And Ricky Henderson MVP. Back-to-back oh, -back great MVPs. All right. I'm going to hold off. I'm going to open this pack, and then we're going to talk about that insert set. So when it comes to that insert set, there there is a... It's a, it's a set of 22 cards. And if you actually look on the back of them... They're not numbered. You know, a lot of the times you would see, you know, insert sets were really subsets. They were still part of the base set. This is the first time that, or one of the first times that you would actually see the numbering was a little bit different. Andre Dawson, All-Star. And I hope to find one of those cards to show you. And Lynn Dykstra MVP. All right, last pack. And I am going to, as I'm opening, I'm going to talk because everything else is just throwing me off. Um, but what what was happening is, you know, they, they print this, this entire set. There's 770 cards in this entire set. And what they were doing, they print both Series 1 and Series 2 at the same time. But the problem is they were using 132 um, card sheets. And... 770 does not divide equally into, uh, you know, or 130, yeah. You can't divide 132 into 770 without having space. So what they ended up doing to make, to fill that space, there was actually a number, there was 22 cards that were blank. So what they did, they came up with 22 cards. Joe Carter, MVP. They came up with 22 cards and Justice MVP, to put in those spaces so they could print, because they could print the entire set, um, the 770 plus the 22 on six even sheets. That was the reason they came up with this insert set. You'll actually find out those are not in the factory set, because they actually printed all the factory sets on 56 card sheets. And honestly, if you compare a factory card to a one of these uh, pack cards, you'll notice that the border's different. It doesn't have this... I don't know that kind of some color so it is a little bit different move on rated rookie and of course we're not going to pull one of those bonus cards one of those inserts so we'll save that till next time of course as always i always talk about all of that over and over as i rip into this you know there's going to be six trips of this so we'll save that to next time but Quick recap, we did get more of the more of the puzzle. A couple pieces that aren't duplicates. That's a duplicates of duplicates right there. So we got a couple pieces that aren't duplicates. We did pull some of the and these are pretty cool. So you got the award cards and you got the World Series cards. So we'll take a look at the award cards. Sandy Alomar, Dave Justice, both of them rookies of the year. One American League, one national, obviously. We have Billy Hatcher and Willie Randolph. These are World Series, I guess they call them highlights cards. Yeah. Billy Hatcher had seven straight hits and Willie Randolph hit uh, in World Series in three different decades. That's pretty cool. We did get a bunch of MVPs in this one. I mean, a ton and some great ones to, to, to boot. You know, Dave Justice, Joe Carter, Len Dykstra, the base ceiling, Ricky Henderson, the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. 
This is actually only a few years after he started the inn. Tim Wallach, Doug Drabeck, and Fred the Crime Dog McGriff. And then finally, we got a few of these. These would be All-Star. You know, the Hawk, Andre Dawson. There's Jack Armstrong and Len Dykstra, which we've seen all of the, well, we've seen all of Andre Dawson. But what was neat about these, these cards actually, from a stat perspective, they talk about the game. They don't talk about, you know, what they actually did. So like, Andre Dawson was that bat two times, had zero hits, struck out once. Okay. So that's it. Again, this is a quick rip. Really to, to start trying to grab, see if I can finish one of these puzzles. I've never finished a Donruss puzzle in my entire life. So we're going to see if we can finish one. If we keep getting all of these duplicates, I don't know how easy that's going to be. But uh, we'll, we'll see. But also, you know, we're definitely going to go trying to pull one of those out of 5,000 Ryan Sandbergs. Or if we can pull one of those numbered cards, since this is the first time they actually machine numbered cards. There's a, I mean, there is a ton of them. There's 10,000 of the Elite Series. There's 7,500 of the uh, Legend Series with Nolan Ryan. And then there's 5,000 of the Sandberg. Numbers sound high, but... They said that they basically printed about 3 million of each base card. So basically, that um, those six sheets that I mentioned, the 770 plus the 22, imagine that by 3 million. That's how many they, they thought they printed of this. Nobody knows for certain, but and that's a lot of cards. And they, they're thinking that there's probably a lot of those numbers that are still not, never been pulled. I mean, they could honestly be one in this box. So I hope you join, you know, Go on this journey into history with me by hitting that subscribe button below and hitting the notify bell. Also, go ahead and give a thumbs up to the video. And if you have any comments, drop in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you think about all this type of stuff. Appreciate taking the time, you know, listening to me ramble and not complete a story because I keep running into fun cards. But just part of the fun. I enjoy going along and doing this, and until next time, bye now.